Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. I have been asked by Paul, is there any useful computer diagnostics that can help repair and or reconnect PCs to the internet? Well let's just focus on the internet section for this video. There are actually a couple of things you can do within Windows to help if you get thrown off the internet. And to start off with, let's just minimize our web browser and go down to the bottom right hand corner and right click on our network icon. We're now going to go to Open Network and Sharing Center and we're going to go to Change Adapter Settings. Basically, now you're going to have a, well, down in the bottom right hand corner, your icon's going to say No Internet Access and it's going to have a big red cross through it. Same with this icon here. But what we can do, the first test is to simply right click and go disable. And once you've disabled your network adapter, we're now going to right click again and go enable. Basically what this does is just refreshes the network adapter and hopefully that should work. But if that does not work and you're still getting a network error, we can now right click on our network adapter again and go to diagnose and we can allow this just to run a couple of tests and see if it can find the problem but as you can see there is no issue on my machine as I am already connected to the internet but if you do have an issue come up then just follow through on this guide until you actually get to the end and hopefully that will fix the problem but if you still have not fixed the issue and it's really becoming a issue now. We can simply close this and also the next thing you can do is try and restart your computer. If restarting your computer or laptop does not work then this is the next step. You need to go down to the bottom left hand corner of your screen. We're now going to right click and go to settings. Once you're in settings we're now going to go to network and internet. And we're now going to go down to Network Reset. And basically what this does, as you can see here, this will remove and then reinstall all your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other network software afterwards such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Make sure you've backed everything up and you're prepared to do this. We're now going to hit reset now and we're going to go yes. And as you can see you're about to be signed out. Windows will shut down in 5 minutes. As you can see I now only have my virtual box network adapter there. It's completely removed my network adapter that's built in on my motherboard. Which means that this process is working. I'm now going to go ahead and restart my computer so it can do the full reset. Once you've restarted your computer, you should now have a connection to your internet. If you're on a laptop, then you might need to enter in your password settings again to connect through the wireless. But if you still cannot get on the internet, then there might actually be an issue with your router, which means you may have to phone up your supplier so they can do some checks on it. Or also, if you're connecting through a cable, then just give the cables a little check and make sure all the cables are okay. I hope this tutorial's helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.